Good morning. Well, we're live here in Terrapin Farms in Fowler, Illinois. We're continuing with our sustainability week. So today we are showing you how to live off the land. Here, Bradley Wilson owns this uh, farm here on, um, you have 21 acres of a ton of vegetables and everything else. But <laughs> um, now we're going to kind of show everyone at home what they need to do if they want to live off their land. So um, what do we have here? Uh, this is a purple cabbage that we like to grow here. Uh, we do, you know, three or four different varieties of cabbage to keep things different. They're all on later dates. Uh, what we're going to do here is plant it. I have a prepared seed bed here that we've uh, we've spaded up actually, and then uh, it's it's really pretty self-explanatory. Uh, these are starts. We start our own, but you can go to any you know uh, place and, and buy plants. I prefer to get mine locally uh, from a local grower as compared to getting them from. Uh, like a big box store type place. I like Peter's Greenhouse is a really good one and uh, South End Plants, also a really good place to buy your plants that are locally locally owned uh, places. So you know your money's staying here in the community. Which we learned earlier this week is sustainable as well. That is locally. very sustainable, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So after we do, did you prep the land? We just, we prepped the dirt a little bit. Uh, this has all been tilled at one point in time and then uh, we had a hard rain so I had to spade it all back up to get, you know, what you're looking for is nice loose dirt here. Right. And so uh, I had my my business partner here come through and uh, he popped a hole in of what we use is the end of a shovel. You know, anything will work. It's just as easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, these we wetted down really good. We watered real heavy because when we put them in the hole, we want that water to be in there for a little time. So all you have to do is pop her in the hole, push her down, cover it up. And we'll do that here on oh, this one. Can I do this one? Yeah, yes. go ahead. <laughs> all right, I'm planting. <laughs> So you just push it, push it. Yeah, you want to push it down as far as you can get it, then cover it up. What did we do with the, I mean that straw foot? And then we're going to go back through and cover them with straw. The straw keeps the soil moist and will help prevent weeds from coming up through to save on hoeing for. And it's like we don't really have while. any um, kind of tools. We're just really working with our hands. Uh, well, we had tools out here. This oh. has all been tilled, you know, so right, right, right. it's not like you could just come out and do it without a <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> proper tools. And then we're going to straw it up, put the plants on top, and that is that. All right, well, for more tips on planting, make sure you check out our website at connecttristates.com.